we're here in the dusty, the noisy and the chaotic demolition sites surrounding Auckland St James Theatre, where the former cinemas, the Regent, the West End and the Odeon are being demolished to make way for the podium for the St James Suites 39-storey, 130 apartment residential tower. We have, limbered inconveniently, a massive artwork sitting right in the area being demolished. This is a ceramic tile mural by expat New Zealand architect Morris Keith Smith, now a uh, emeritus professor at MIT in Harvard. It's built like a proverbial, it was never designed to come down, but is highly valued by the arts community, by the public and by the politicians of Auckland. Therefore, Auckland Council is making a huge effort to retaining the mural by cutting it apart into about 200 pieces, uh, which is roughly how it was assembled in the first place. But this particular mural, done in ceramics, in glass tiles, in glazed tiles and porcelain tiles, is a massive modernist, rectilinear, brightly coloured, abstract tile mural. It's about 4.7 metres wide, 4 metres high, and weighs something in the order of 20 metric tonnes, 20,000 kgs. We have these um, 600 millimetre diameter diamond saws screaming away in great sprays of water, um, dry cutting discs to refine, cut the lines between the tiles. Um, yeah, it is. It's a, a, a pretty rugged and heroic construction site, but thank God it does seem to be working. We're getting the pieces off with a high level of intactness. Not the demolition contractors, the building contractors, everybody involved in the project has got in behind this effort to retain this marvellous mural and not see it ground into dust under a bulldozer.